Hi everyone. So in this video we will learn how to create custom event in JavaScript. There are two ways to create a custom event in JavaScript. The first one is using event constructor. The another one is using custom event constructor. There is a benefit of using custom event constructor because you can pass custom data and that option is not available in case of event constructor. So what we are going to do here, we are going to use custom event constructor and we are going to pass custom data. So let's get started. Let's have basic custom structure here. And here we will add the script file which is script.js. We need a div element here. And inside the div element, I'll have one button. And that's it. And text will be trigger event. Let's center align this uh, using this style attribute. It will be text align center. And let's have one h1 element here to display the result. Okay, I'll just save it, go to script file, select the button, so let's make it bt and trigger, we'll use document.query selector here to select the button, select the h1 element because we have to display the result, let's add a click event listener to this button. This will be the handler function. Let's create a function here. So it will be create and trigger event. We will take data as a parameter which will be your object. Now let's create the event. We are going to use custom event constructor here. The first parameter will be the event name. In our case it will be show name. The second parameter will be an object and it will have a detail property which will hold a custom data and here we'll simply dispatch this event but I want to dispatch this event to the h1 element so I need to add event listener for this event to this h1 element okay so let's do it here first add event listener event will be show name this will be the handler function and let's trigger this event by calling result dot dispatch event and event will be this one okay now let's complete this function first then we'll complete this function and test our application so we need custom data so data will have a name property let's make it John, it will have background color property. Let's make it green font color. Let's make it white. Great. I will call this function here and pass this data. Now, inside this function, I want to access this data and display it on the screen. So, we'll have an event object here. And we'll simply destructure it. So we'll have name, background color, and we'll also have color. Okay. And it will be in the detail property like this. Our result dot inner text will be equal to name. Result dot style dot background color will be equal to background color result.style.color will be equal to color. That's it. Now whenever you create a custom event, always keep three things in mind. The first one is creating an event. The second one is listening to that event. And the third one is dispatching the event. In our case, this function is creating and dispatching. And this is the function which is actually listening. Okay. We are simply attaching event listener to this h1 element, accessing the properties of the custom data and just displaying it on the screen. Okay. And we are doing everything on this button click. Now let's open this file in the browser. Click on this trigger event and this is the output. So what we did here, we added event listener to the button. This button is responsible for creating and triggering the event. And this is the function which will basically create 
and trigger the event. And we have an event listener here, which will listen to the event, extract the data, show it on the screen. I hope you got the point, how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.